What do you think about this one? So we just made this video not too long ago about when your heat pump switches to auxiliary heat, what mm -hmm. that means. Anna is saying, my heat pump runs on auxiliary heat mode 24 seven, but it's 11 degrees outside. My electric bill is so expensive to keep running this heat pump to heat my condo. How do I get my heat pump to run on heat mode but at the same time get good heat in the condo. Also, I don't get heat on the other side of my condo in my son's room. How do I get any kind of heat in my son's room with this heat pump? Okay, that's a separate question, right. you know. It sounds like you're using your auxiliary heat all the time, she's saying. Yeah. I don't know how you know that, but mm -hmm. obviously you must be because your electric bill is high. Right. As far as how to get it in just heat mode, it it's usually a function of the thermostat. Look at your thermostat. You've typically, on a heat pump thermostat, you've got a system switch that has an offsetting, it has a heat, cool, and it has an emergency heat setting mm -hmm. or auxiliary heat. When it's in that position, it is going to run your auxiliary heat all the time, which it sounds like that's what it's doing right mm -hmm. now. So I don't know if it'd be as simple as just putting it into a heat mode so it's using that first stage we might want her to kind of listen to our very first one that we talked right. about you know the first your thermostat the first call for heat is going to be for just your heat pump and what a lot of people don't know and it depends on the thermostat but i'm going to assume it sounds like a rental I, a I'm, I'm not sure yeah. but I, yeah. i'm going to say you have a a more basic control than something uh, electronic. But one thing you want to be mindful of is put it on a temperature and just leave it alone. Okay, and see what it does. Because there you're gonna eventually get like how I described on that previous question, is you're gonna get it in the range of, now it's just calling for first stage heat, which is my heat pump, and it's gonna try and heat my home with that. But if I go to the thermostat and bump it five degrees, you're turning on auxiliary. auxiliary. Mm -hmm. If I let my house cool off at night, I get up in the morning and bump it up, I'm calling for auxiliary heat. So uh, especially when the, the weather is severe, but really anytime with a heat pump, if I don't have a, a control that's gonna discriminate against bringing on that electric furnace, please don't Just lower your heating temperature. Set it Just leave and it. leave it. Having said all that, if you had, there are some electronic thermostats, some, that have the feature to discriminate against bringing on that auxiliary heat. And so it will try a little longer than normal if it knows that it's gaining on the temperature, if it's doing an effective job. It will kind of know that. It, it keeps an algorithm to kind of know what my cycling stages have been like. And so it will try and do it with just your basic heat. But that would be another question I would have for the second question here was um, what kind of control do you have? You might want to have a good reputable technician look at it because if this is your home you can make your life much simpler with an, with an electronic thermostat that really truly will save you money. It'll pay for itself if it's operating properly. Any ideas on the not uh, well, a, a, we, one side of our condo isn't yeah, getting heat? Yeah what's that sound like to you? Zoning? Problems dampers, dampers, you know, dampers in Maybe the Maybe there's a damper closed. If I'm heating certain parts of the house and not other parts, something's closed off. Right. Typically. She might have a damper closed that she doesn't know about. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Thanks, Very good. Dad. Yep. Pleasure having you in studio today. Mm -hmm.